What's your name? Cat got your tongue? I'm Francesca Hayward. I play Victoria in Cats. Follow me home if you dare to. And this is my take five. Well, the classic is The Red Shoes with Moira Shearer. And there's also Centre Stage. In the dance world, it's like an absolute must. Like, you have to watch it. If you work harder every day than you've ever worked in your life, this school will turn you into the best dancer you can possibly be. Centre Stage is about a young ballerina, kind of like her journey into the company. Oh, she's so good. Yeah, just ask her. She doesn't feel like she's good enough, so she has to work like really hard. And then she gets given a big, big chance in like the big show, and there's a love triangle. It's like got all the classics in there. <laughs> it's really entertaining. It's a bit far-fetched in places, but it's, yeah, it's brilliant. TV show that people would be surprised that I watch. I really like to watch medical programs because it's so different from what I do, ballet. It's a British one called 24 Hours in A&E and it's brilliant, it's like 24 hours filmed in one hospital in London and it's like really heart-wrenching and like really happy. Are you okay? Yeah. It gives me like a really good perspective on everything, you know. It makes you realize the common threads of humanity far outweigh any differences. If I did a few bad pirouettes, it's just not the end of the world. I'm never going to do anything stupid ever again. What movie would make a great ballet? Maybe like Gone with the Wind. That would be a good one. Well, I haven't thought about that yet. I'll, I'll think about that tomorrow. Maybe we could like shorten it a bit because it's quite long. You mustn't say such things. A dance scene between Scarlet and Red. I mean, there'd be a lot of tension, which would be brilliant. That last bit where he says, uh, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. That must be some way to bring him back. And she'd be all heartbroken on the floor in a massive dress. That would be an amazing end to a ballet. After all, tomorrow is another day. That's such an epic ending. It's actually a brilliant idea. Like, I really want to... I'm going to buy the rights to this, I think. She will not consider it so. Oh, yes, I will. The last thing I binge-watched on TV was Schitt's Creek. Oh, my God! What? I absolutely love it. I love the character of Moira in particular, and I would really like to channel some of my inner Moira a bit more on a daily basis. I don't know what to say. Probably won't do the wig thing. That's a lot of effort. Probably stick with my hair. You sit. I love Moira's choice of words and her language. Mommy had to shop off the rack. She's just pure entertainment. Just love it, and the accent, just brilliant. We are all on the precipice of greatness. I have so many memories from filming, doing scenes like one-on-one -on -one with Judi Dench. I haven't seen you before, have I? And Idris Elba. I danced with Idris Elba for a second. <laughs> Just in like really special moments with the whole cast. I mean, watching Jennifer Hudson sing Memory, to be there, to witness that, and to be moved every time to tears, that was incredible. A new day has because. That was my take five. Come watch me in Cats in cinemas on December 20th.